Roses are red, Earth's climate is heating. Wife smashes husband's testicles after catching him cheating. It's a real news headline. <laughs> Fuck yeah, but I the, would. The, the smash testicles portion is a real news I've headline. I've already been through that once. <laughs> if you ever do that to me, we're... Okay. okay. Your testicles are done. Okay. So, um, welcome to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. This is Ball Smasher Nona. <laughs> I'm Andrew. <gasps> um, that was a, a kink in the boys, too. What's her name? Ashley. And the uh, news reporter guy, like episode like four or something like that, where she was like, got killed. She was walking him around and tying him up in yeah. her room. Yeah, I don't remember the ball smashing, but I'll take your word for it. It's literally what she said to him. Yeah, I just I don't he was remember ready that to part. Get their testicles smashed or something like that. <laughs> so if you're watching this, um, spoilers for Deadpool and Wolverine. Well, this is coming out Monday, yeah. correct? Yeah. So hopefully everybody has seen it before you've Monday. Had, you've had four days. Yeah, you've had four days. If we you haven't on, watched it yet. We went on Thursday. Find the timestamp in the description that skips past the spoilers because <laughs> we're talking about it first. Yeah. I give it all the points. All the points? Yep. How much do you give it? Well, I told you before we went to go see it that I was never a fan of Wolverine in general, the X-Men series. You don't like Hugh Jackman? No, 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 no. That's not it. That's not it. Hugh, she doesn't like you. Stop, stop. (laughs) It's just I was never... Like, I can get into Deadpool just by himself as a character or whatever. The whole X-Men series I was never, like, really big into. So I wasn't... How many of them have you seen? One or two, maybe. Do you know that they like rebooted it like three different times? No. And they even have different characters. You had playing. me watch Logan. Logan was okay because it was kind of like it was more than, you know, just. Professor Xavier yeah, see, was that, recast. I, I wasn't into the whole like school for special kids. You, and... know, you know, the entire series was created as an uh, analogy for like. Racism and gay mm-hmm. rights and stuff. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, that's what it's but supposed see, like, to be. Again, I was never really into it, so I didn't dive too much into it. It, it was all surface to me. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, but I give it. I give it points. Did you see what Hugh Jackman said about when um, he went with Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, and Taylor Swift um, to? I believe it was a Kansas City no, Chiefs no game, and they were all photographed together. And it was Taylor Swift and Blake Lively and others. I got you as no. the caption and others. And he was like, "You know, you feel real special when you're cast as so everyone, others." <laughs> everyone has been uh, completely bullshitting and making up who the cameos were. And who were in the Deadpool suits. It was suits. his wife. No, no, as all the... of them. Did you even notice that Matthew McConaughey was one of them? That is a real one, by the way. But people are saying that. As as who? The cowboy. The ca- I thought that's who you were going to say. Um, that's funny. But they're saying that. Uh, what's her name and what's his name? What's her name and what's his name? Tyler Swift. And that's what uh, Three Year Letterman calls her, by the way. Tyler. <laughs> Uh, and what's his name? The dude from Kansas City Chiefs, her boyfriend. <laughs> You're the football expert. You don't uh, remember his name? Okay, but he's like, he's a nobody to me. Oh. He never was an anybody to me. Oh, okay. I never even knew who he was. Until this year when she started dating him? Yeah. yeah. So you found out about a football player because... He started dating Taylor Swift, sure. and you know more about Taylor Swift. He went to he went that's to a nobody funny. he went to a nobody college. That's why I didn't know who he gotcha. was. Gotcha, right? As you've said many times on this show, you give zero fucks about NFL. Yep. So I'll give you a free pass on that, but yep. that's funny that you know more about Taylor Swift, or as you called her, Tyler, Tyler Swift. Swift. Yeah. So they're saying that people are are like, oh my god, I can't believe their cameo, and people. Are freaking and out who already. Who are they Be- supposedly? Cameo? Deadpool. 
Right, but which ones? Just Deadpool. I thought they're I thought just, they're just doing it to fuck with people. Oh, okay, okay. I th- I thought the speculation very briefly was because she is Taylor Taylor Swift is Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively's children's godmother. The That's spec- too many words. The Don't spe- say that again. The speculation for a couple of minutes was that she was Lady Deadpool, not Blake Lively. But I guessed from the beginning that it was Blake Lively. I don't even know what her hair looks like, so I wouldn't know. But it definitely they, they was both, his wife. They both they both have blonde hair. I mean, it was clearly extensions on top of the head. Like it wasn't real hair. Mm-hmm. Or would you not even did recognize you know, that? Did you know that Hugh Jackman's arms were Hugh Jackman's arms, but they were CGI'd onto him? What? When they walk out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me this because of the um how to how to do the claws, right? Well, it was all of it, the suit and everything. Um, Corridor crew did a breakdown of it a couple of weeks ago when they, they the footage had like already come out of like how they were doing the CGI. Okay. So that scene specifically, and I noticed in the movie, I thought based on what they showed on YouTube a okay. couple of weeks ago, I figured like the CGI team was going to fix it. You can tell like right in like the shoulder joint when he's walking in slow motion that his arm doesn't actually perfectly line up with the suit like it like it like moves through it. it's like a like a video game like he's like go move and that's something <laughs> that i would never have noticed because i was not checking out hugh jackman's shoulders sure you weren't so but apparently you were Andrew. so so his arms he's actually in in that scene mm-hmm. he's actually wearing sleeves so that way they can like cgi out and then yeah do the fake arms on top. Yeah. And they were, okay. at first they were speculating that maybe. Were his, were his abs CGI'd also? Probably. Oh they, my God. <laughs> but they, at one point they were, they were speculating that maybe um, his entire body was CGI and they just had cut his head and put it on top of that body. So is it even Hugh Jackman? No, I'm just kidding. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> yeah. That, that whole scene when he's walking out. That's funny. And no, I would never. And they're like that. showing him from the side. Very specifically from the side, his arm like moves up through the cloth. Okay, interesting. Watch for that. It what to the people who are going again for a second time? Yeah. Are you gonna go again, or are you just gonna no. wait to download it? Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Gotcha. You're not gonna go on Tuesday when it's like half price movie tickets. No. So all of you who are waiting for your half price day it, for whatever sucks reason for, you. for whatever reason they actually didn't. Um, that wasn't actual uh pdx format what do you mean it, we didn't have the uh dolby atmos sound so you paid an extra five dollars per ticket to have it on a slightly bigger screen yeah yeah so it wasn't worth the extra five dollars a ticket no which is what i've been saying from the beginning why only, i would never but, but only that for... movie specifically and on so because we stayed through the credits mm-hmm. it was filmed mm-hmm. for dolby theater which is dolby vision and dolby atmos okay and for whatever reason the theater with the equipment uh-huh. didn't play it in that format how do you know that as fact because i can tell by the sound and they always Anytime they play a movie that's in uh, Dolby Vision or Dolby Theater, mm-hmm. they always do the opening scene where they demonstrate what the speakers and... I've the, only ever gone one time with you to another PDX movie, if, so I if, very rarely... Like, if you have headphones, if you have good headphones, so your regular headphones, you'll kind of be able to tell, but unless you actually have Dolby Atmos certified headphones, you're probably not going to be able to tell as much, but go to YouTube... Or you might even have the software installed on your computer if you actually do have a computer that's capable of producing the sound. Um, There's a demo video, or there's several demo videos Mm -hmm. where you can watch and listen to it. And it's it's packet-based sound rather than... Packet-based sound. So they take and isolate. Okay. Real... Is this what you did when we got the new TV? No. What what was that that you were doing? You were like showing me... The... Dolby Vision, which is the HDR color and blah motion. blah 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 blah. Yeah. Dolby Vision plus Dolby Atmos equals Dolby Theater. Okay, so we had just Dolby Vision. I don't even think we did. Oh, yeah. So basically, you spent a lot of extra doll hairs for yeah. nothing. Yeah, twenty five or thirty extra dollars. Yeah, 
or to six not, tickets to be in that theater but not actually that. have yeah. the special yeah damn yep. i'm sorry so yeah sucks to be you <clears throat> yeah. duped yeah it, you should go ask for a refund so three days later the the way the way dolby atmos sound works is rather than just immersing you in the sound from every direction uh-huh. like literally taking your voice and just making it come from every direction that's how surround sound works it comes from every direction surround sound yeah if you were to listen in like a 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound system mm-hmm. if you listen to every speaker okay the sound that you're going to hear is just the voice or the sound that you created okay but through that specific driver and that speaker so a subwoofer is going to have that deep the tweeter is going to be really high but it's the tweeter yeah those are what the little speakers are called they're called tweeters the little ones <laughs> in your door and dash and stuff like that those are called tweeters i had no idea wow <laughs> so funny to me so a that's, tweeter. that's what gives you your highs and some of your mid channels and stuff like that so I'm just going to harp on all of the random ass words that you're saying right. today. So for Dolby Atmos, yes. they isolate sound from every direction. So a speaker behind you mm-hmm. is actually going to be the sound that you... So for example, let's say we're outside and there's like traffic, right? Okay. The sound coming from behind me would be the car coming right. from behind me. Right. I wouldn't hear it from in front of me. Right. Whereas in surround sound, you would hear it in front of you too, even though it's coming from behind you. Okay, back to Deadpool. Okay. This is educational. This is the education did you, channel. Did you notice that he said a phrase in there talking about letting somebody cook? And I only understood that because of the conversation that we had just had a couple of days ago with so the kids. So I, I knew it because they've been saying it. But see, all since... that shit goes over my head. Just like tweeter i'm gonna like forget about that here in about 30 minutes because it's inconsequential to my daily life no you're not gonna forget you'll remember no i won't yeah i'm gonna point them out in the car (sighs) yep so the cameos i know you didn't understand most of them right like the the chaining tatum one as gambit that movie i i cannot get over the way that he was speaking it was so terrible like how he called his dialect coach the minions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, the only thing that made me laugh the entire movie was when he said the little dog was so ugly. It looked like he would have been rolled in gonorrhea or a bath of gonorrhea <laughs> or something really ridiculous like that. That one made me snort. That was the only laugh that I let no, out the entire was, movie. There was so much funny scenes in that. The... The one that really cracked me up, and I was actually I was waiting for him to kill Nice Pool. I wanted I wanted so badly nothing more than to see him. Was that actually Ryan Reynolds or was it his stunt double? I don't know. It was probably I was I was genuinely <coughs> well, like his no, face no, no, looks no, no, so no, no, no. So it probably was Ryan Reynolds because Deadpool had his mask on. So his his stunt double was probably playing him. While he was playing himself. I don't know. The face looked different than Ryan Reynolds. But also, but also in the last year or two, I feel like his face has changed. So the way that I'm picturing his face is still like five to ten years ago, which I wasn't paying attention to. Like I zoned out at the end because the music was so terrible. And I was just like thinking, what the fuck is this terrible music? And then I was like, shit, I was trying to look for Blake's name on the credits. Did you notice that he was using his Canadian accent when he was playing Nice Pool? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Because all Canadians are so sweet and kind. Yeah. 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 But I was I was really, really, really waiting for him to try and kill him, but he didn't know that he couldn't regenerate. So I think that's why until he found yeah, out that he, he was couldn't like, regenerate. Oh shit. Whoops. <laughs> when he was, when he was talking about the face, he's like, I can't fight because <laughs> I feel like that would be you. You would say that exact thing. I can't fight because of my face. My yeah, exactly. beautiful face. Exactly. That's your money maker. Yeah. <laughs> It's like I've told all the jujitsu and wrestling and boxing people, and they're like, I can do this, and I'm black belt in this, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, well, I would just shoot you. So <laughs> <laughs> your kung fu works not around here. There's a There was a meme I saved the other day, and it was something along the lines of, um, 
America's like best martial art or something like that. And it was like a girl unholstering a pistol. <laughs> anyway, so That's back funny. to Deadpool. Back to Deadpool. What was your favorite part of the whole movie? Um, I told you what made me snort. Hmm. What made you snort or resonated with you? One of the two. Well, I think the best scene. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. I think the scene that's really going to fuck with everybody is the Chris Evans scene. Okay. Because even I, and I knew that he played the Human Torch, but because when he he showed a sleeve and it looked like the Captain America suit, mm -hmm. before he said, he's going to say it, he's going to say it, which is Avengers Assemble is what he was waiting for him to say. Okay. And then he said, flame on, and then took off into the air. And I was like, didn't see that coming. I totally did not see them bringing the Fantastic Four into it, but they were part of the Fox characters and universe that are what coming universe over to was green lantern in because that, that was green also DC. oh okay yeah because i was also ryan reynolds yeah. so i was wondering were they gonna just try to do everything so ryan reynolds played um and i can't think of his name but he was in blade trinity okay which i never saw so you had to explain after yeah. who that guy was everybody knows who who blade is i've never seen it in my entire life Okay. So I had well, lit, it went you, completely you know over my head. I had the character, no idea. Do you know what the character Blade is and does? No. He's a daywalker vampire that kills vampires. So are you saying Ryan Reynolds was a vampire in that movie? No. Who, he was a vampire who? hunter. Okay. That so. worked with Blade to kill. Um, did you ever watch Prison Break? Mm -mm, no. I can't think of the guy's name. The The brother who's in prison that the other brother is trying to break out of prison. Okay. Bald-headed guy. Okay. He's the bad guy in that movie. Okay. That was yeah. very specific. Thank yeah. you for that detail. Yeah. But he basically plays a Deadpool-like character Okay. in Blade. Okay. I just don't remember the character's name. Okay. So having him in there and then making the joke. Mm -hmm. And then, of course... Um, and what universe is Blade in? Marvel. Okay. See, I would never. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Terrible. Terrible. Cool. Can't believe you've never seen Blade. Everybody's seen Blade. What year did it come out? The first one I think came out like ninety nine. It's like the first comic book movie that like was. Like I was ten years R. old. I saw it. Okay, I didn't. I wasn't allowed to watch movies like when that. When did Blade come out? United States of August 1998. Okay, I had literally just turned nine years old. I was born in 89, <laughs> so I had just turned nine years old. When did Blade Trinity come out? In the United States of America. 2004. So okay. Ryan Reynolds has been in Marvel movies since 2004. Didn't know that, did you? No, but I never saw Blade, no. so... Yeah, they're good movies. They're the first rated R comic book movies. That's like when the shift happened. Okay. So that paved the way for Deadpool? But most people, I would I would speculate that most people are probably like you and don't even know that Blade is a comic book character. Okay. I don't think... Oh my God, speaking of comic books, the nerds <laughs> that were in that theater all holding their comic books. Like, did they think Ryan Reynolds was going to personally stop by to sign them? Really? Well, one of them that was sitting a couple rows up from us was flipping through the pages during the movie. He had a headlamp yeah. on. He Did you notice that? I, I was trying to block everybody's crazy out. <laughs> people who were standing up cheering. People were, it was. There was a scene. They were devoted. There was a scene. Which devoted. The, the screen, the screen wasn't even like perfectly white or whatever it's supposed to be there like you could tell yeah. on bright scenes that there were mm -hmm. imperfections yep. on the screen i was waiting for you to actually but say something it looked like our lights and mm -hmm. not even not even that bright i just and, looked right at the lights and yeah. i'm blind and the there was a woman behind us who just had to talk about it oh my god it's so bright yes oh my fucking god why is yes. it so bright yes yes you don't just shut the fuck up nobody cares about you the person sitting the next to you probably doesn't even care about you. The four children 
were more respectful, quiet than these grown adults in the theater, screaming, cheering, complaining. Well, the cheering was Yeah, that I can, I can, but it's the complaining, the, whereas the four children were just quietly sitting and watching and enjoying. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Pitch, (laughs) it's a white screen. (laughs) Stupid. That was like, the, I was waiting for a, a second moment like that to happen. I was going to turn around and just say, shut the fuck up. And I was hoping a second moment was not going to happen <laughs> so that you wouldn't turn around and say, shut the fuck up, because that would have ruined it for me. You fell asleep during the movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, she didn't, but she tried to. Anyways, the... Yeah, the Gambit cameo... Um, the one that everybody was cheering for was the Henry Cavill cameo. Oh, <laughs> but I, and who is he in what universe? He's Superman. I never saw Superman. You never seen Man of Steel mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. uh, Batman versus Superman. Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, and that's not DC. Comic- that is DC. I'm so confused. So they are bringing in DC no, people? I'm so confused. No, he's not, he didn't play Superman in Deadpool. He was playing Wolverine. Right. I remember that. But like, what are you, why are you like hinting that it was more? It was just because. Because people want, have, so the same thing happened during, um, fuck, what's that movie called? No, DC is terrible. I literally cannot sit through a single DC movie. They are are so terrible. The graphics, the CGI, it's so terrible. I cannot watch it. Robert Pattinson? Because that's the direction that DC's going now. They're rebooting everything. (laughs) I watched, that was the only other PDX movie I've ever seen. Okay. I saw it with you in theaters. And that was correct at that time. (laughs) Just. Just to be clear. Yeah. And was, that was that was three years ago. That was 2021. I thought it said 2020 is when it came out. 2021. Yeah, it was 2021. Okay. Um, October 2021. I think we went October 4th, 2021, if I remember correctly. Why would you know that? I don't know. Now I need to look it up. <laughs> when did The Batman come out? In the United States March America, 4th, 2022. You had the number right, but you were way off on the month and the year. The Batman? March 4th, 2022. What did we go see in October of 2021? I don't know. Pull up what came out. No, I'm I'm super good. We saw something. It doesn't talk to me anymore. What movie came out October 2021? Venom. That was it. It was Venom. Sorry. My bad. And maybe we actually saw that in PDX also. So maybe I've seen two in PDX. Well, that's the only way that I'll go to the theater. Yeah. 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 So I'm sorry. Venom is what I was thinking about as my very first PDX experience. Uh, I do remember us going to Batman. We had to go literally as soon as I got off work. I got off work at five and the tickets were at like 520 or something. We had to haul ass. I remember that. Hmm. Sorry. I don't remember any of that. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sorry. I blurred those two movies together because they were equally but yeah, now, mediocre at best. Now, basically, every Marvel character can be used in Marvel movies except Venom. Why? Except for Venom. Because he's still owned by Sony. Just Venom. And, and a bunch of Spider-Man characters. Sp- Sony still owns Spider-Man. They're never going to give him up. They're, they're never going to let him gonna down. They're never going to let him go. <laughs> um, yeah, they're they're leasing him to Marvel. Oh my gosh. So all of... All of you nerds are circle jerking around Spider-Man. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. This is a disgusting circle jerk of Deadpool, who can have Spider-Man. Deadpool and Spider-Man are have. best friends in the comics. That's why he was doing the in the car that... <laughs> you didn't see him doing that? He was Mm-mm. pretending to be Spider-Man. No, I 
That went over my head also. When, Did when, not even pick it when up. When Wolverine told him stop or shut up or whatever it was, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it went over my head. Which what scene do you think was the best fight scene? Oh, I don't care about any of that. What? No, oh, the dog with the tongue. No. That was that was no. the best part of the whole movie. The minivan the, fight scene was the best part of the movie. The ugly ass dog. The minivan fight scene was the best part it's of like the movie. England's ugliest dog. You know what's kind of funny though? So like all of the villains, the the uh, dude from the TVA, I can't think of his name, but plays in um, oh my fucking god, the show on HBO that I like, Succession. Yeah. It's like his favorite show. I refuse. Well, to watch I didn't it know the him. dude was fucking British because that show. He's not British. So okay, the first time this I heard happens him, literally all the time. But when I heard him, when I heard him in the Mercedes Benz commercial mm-hmm. with the British it accent, I was him. like, "He was like my whole life. I believed this man to be American, and he is British. I've been betrayed." Well, he's like one of the worst characters in the show. <laughs> he's like. But you liked him because you thought he was American. But as soon as you found out that he yeah. was British, you yeah. were like, fuck you, goodbye. Yeah, exactly. That's how it always works. That's how it, that's <sighs> you were exhausting, deserves. Andrew. Yeah. Exhausting. Yeah. No. So. So that dog was British. So yeah, you, you didn't that. like it because it was British. How much do you think they paid for that dog? <gasps> that's a great fucking question. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. How much money did they pay for the dog in Deadpool 3? Well, just like they also had that random guy who does the this expression on... $20,000. Um, <gasps> for the ugly dog. Yeah, but it doesn't say if that's for the entire movie or per day. Oh. That would be crazy if it was $25 $20. per day is what they typically pay a dog actor. That would be crazy if it was twenty thousand per day. But it's yeah, they they the dog's name is Peggy. Um, got paid twenty thousand dollars for the film. You mean the owners did? The dog probably just got twenty thousand dollars in dog food. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you prevent somebody from taking advantage. You make sure that the actor or actress or animal is paid in something that they can actually consume Mm -hmm. but the dog's not even gonna know the fucking difference you put a little suit on it and it's like right i'm just playing and how old is the dog if the dog's already like 12 years old and falling apart (laughs) probably isn't gonna last another twenty thousand dollars. how old is peggy the ugly dog (laughs) six okay six years old why is Peggy Britain's ugliest dog making a headline on the red carpet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that tongue. Fuck. <laughs> Going in right on Red Old's mouth. <laughs> you think the tongue was real? Yes. You think the tongue was real? It's not CGI? Oh, and that mm. never even crossed my mind. Mm. If they CGI'd the tongue to go into his mouth. Yeah. That tongue is real. Whether it actually did that, that's the question. Sure. What would you do if I walked around with a tongue like that? <laughs> Just dangling. <laughs> well, you clearly had a stroke. <laughs> You'd have facial droop. <laughs> yeah. You'd be looking all weird and shit. And I wait, so what would you do? Not take you in public? <laughs> I told My you. wife had a stroke, so she has to stay home for the rest of her life. Yeah. She's too ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Until you make a full recovery. We'll have to have... You can recover from a stroke with facial paralysis? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was permanent. <laughs> no. You just need to know... Um, uh, oh, my God. You need... TPA? TPA? Is that what it is within an hour typically and you're like you'll be good to go without like much like okay. long-term and what recovery if, time what if you find me five hours later i'm fucked you're probably gonna die so. <laughs> we're just gonna start digging up the backyard and get ready there's no reason to even call my mom at that point <laughs> oh my god 
<laughs> it could be like these people over here get caught walking barefoot through the street. He has dementia. He, he you don't know that. He has dementia. Yeah, but you he don't. Went, you don't know that. He went you for a little walk. That. Yeah, and he he got lost. Yep. The police were called. Yep. They drove him back home. Yep. And then, like two days later, ambulance came and picked him up because he had a moment. Well, the police picked him up and brought him home, but then the ambulance came and checked on him, and then the ambulance left before the police did. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, two days later, the ambulance came back and picked him up. Poor guy. Well, the uh, at-home nursing people are still there, so he's probably back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they come three times a day, so. They come more often than that. You just only notice them three times a day. They're there for hours and hours at a time, which is. No, they come They come three times a day, but they're there for longer now. It used to be for exactly one hour. It used to be from 8 to 9, 12 to 1, and 4 to 5. But now it's like 8 to 10, 12 to 2, 3 to 5. And they block our fucking driveway. Yes. Every single day. Yeah. But he needs help, obviously. So he's getting the help, and I just have to maneuver my large vehicle. I've been waiting very for carefully. them to get the hint because I, when I go to back in the driveway, I have to swing towards their vehicle that's parked on the other side, the blocking like the ability for us to just pull right in and out. Mm -hmm. And I try and I get as close as possible when there's somebody sitting in the car to be like, Move your fucking car. And if they literally parked five feet forward. Yeah, if they actually parked in front of the right, house, right. it wouldn't but be a problem. But instead, they parked directly in front of our driveway, which yeah. makes zero sense. Yeah. And that is where all of the home health people park yep. at the exact same spot. Yep. It's so weird because it's all different ones. Yep. It's so weird. It's like they all communicated within each other. Hey, make sure to block these one people's driveway every single yeah. day. It's so weird. Well, I bet it's a pain for the old lady next door too. Yeah. Because she probably she probably doesn't know how to turn. So she probably has to do like a five point driveway exit. Probably. She probably comes out and is like yeah. and then puts in reverse. She's about like eighty yeah. pounds soaking wet, four foot ten. And instead if of going that. to the front door. To fucking ask me to move my vehicle so that tree people can trim trees. She came to the back door. Which he's like still bothered by. Yeah. Who she's, does that? Well, she's the next door neighbor. She was in the backyard. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you go to the you go to people's front door. You do that's like the No. Don't unless somebody tells you, hey, the back door's unlocked or whatever, or go around to the back door, we're having a party or whatever, like you don't go to the back door. Whereas some people come from the school of thought of if you go to the front door, it's somebody who's not invited. If you go to the back door... She wasn't invited. It, if you go to the back door, it's somebody who is... She wasn't is... invited. She was not invited. And a little like dainty knock. So I'm like looking around I'm like, what the... F and then I look... And I see her at the back door, and I'm like, this better be a fucking emergency. And it wasn't. I'm having tree trimmers coming, and I don't want their branches. Can you tell how bothered he is by certain things? Don't go to somebody's back door. Or don't let things bother you. No, don't go to somebody's back door. That's don't how you get shot. That's you. how you get shot. Don't let things bother you. That's how you get shot. Don't go to the back door. Don't let things bother you. Don't go to the back door. It's, Roll it off your back. You are literally putting your own life at risk when you go to somebody's back door uninvited. Don't do it. Okay. So we've moved on from Deadpool, obviously, and you wanted to we talk have. about Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's Take it away. canceling it. Okay. How many times have you heard people say that other than me who actually canceled it and hasn't had it or wanted well, it? So he told me about this last night. I didn't know anything about this. Again, I'm not on social media, so I don't see half of this shit. Okay. And my first impression was, nobody's going to fucking cancel anything. It's the same damn people who are making these bold statements. Oh, I'm going to move away but they're not Trump. The, they're the opposite no, people. No, no, no. I'm just saying it's that same bold statement that you're never fucking following through with. You're, you're meaning to use the term virtue signaling. 
I've never heard that term before. But $15 a month, you're really going to cancel Netflix over a donation? It's called virtue signaling. Yes, they are. I, but I, but my, I highly doubt. They are and have. People have been posting the screenshots in response to my me saying that. But my they missed my point. Guys. They missed my point. Yeah, as soon as their show is back on, yeah. they're going to re-up the subscription. Yeah. They're not going to stay off of it permanently. Right. It happens every time. Mm-hmm. All the same people that I've seen, oh, I canceled this or I canceled that or fuck this or fuck that. I'm literally the only person that doesn't like the NFL that doesn't watch the NFL. I'm the only person that canceled Netflix years ago Mm -hmm. that doesn't have Netflix. You have Netflix. I don't have Netflix. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah. I have Netflix. Yeah. And I've watched. He refuses to use it. Yeah. I have to put it on. Yeah. So... The the point stands. These same people, and I bookmarked all the ones that. So you're going to circle back around six months from now. Hey man, when I start, is your show back on? No, no. When I start seeing people posting about a show or movie that's on Netflix, I'm going to go back through the bookmarks and see if they're one of those people. How do you know if the show is exclusive to Netflix? Because they're dumb enough to say I'm watching this on Netflix. Okay. Yeah, as soon as they're like, oh, so watch them call it's on Netflix, blah, blah, blah. I just binged it. I'm going to go back. He has the receipts, guys. Yeah. He's going to pull the receipts yep. and he is going to call you guys out yep. on your bullshit. Yep. I'll put it here on the podcast, too. Okay. Yeah. So. So. Are you going to cancel Netflix? No. Why not? Why would I? The world wants you to. Or like. Half of the country wants you to. Literally, you want me to because you didn't want me to have Netflix to begin with. Yeah, why would you? Why would you pay for the content we could get for free? Hmm. Hmm. It's the it's the same thing that's going on. We'll talk about this in a second. You have no ownership. You will own nothing and you will like it. You will be... I hope they can hear that damn robot in this recording right now. The robot is running over a dog toy and it's sounding like somebody is humping a a squeaker right now. (laughs) It's literally, it literally sounds like somebody's headboard is being banged into the wall right now. Um, Willow, (laughs) clean up your toys. I'm not going to. So, yeah, the red box thing, which, okay, so Lewis. Which I didn't, again, you mentioned this last night. I had no idea red box even still existed. Lewis Rossman made the, the video. Person? He's a uh, uh, digital rights and rights repair advocate person, makes YouTube videos. Okay. You've actually, um, I know you've listened to content of his because that's what we listened to when we drove back from Virginia years, uh, was it two years ago? Last year? When, you, we, when we went to um, iFly to commit corporate espionage. That was that was <laughs> last really March. Did, that was last March 2023. Yeah. Yeah, so when, and I was listening to an audio book on my headphones. So if you had something on the car speaker, then I wasn't listening to it. Oh, well, I was listening to him talk about something. It was right to repair, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All the subscription bullshit. Okay. Like, Where you literally, like John Deere is a good example. I think that might have been what I was listening to about. What about John Deere? So um, if you buy a John Deere tractor, like say a farmer buys a John Deere tractor piece of equipment, right? Okay. They are not legally allowed to repair their own equipment. You have to pay John Deere to come do it. So do you actually own the equipment that you bought? Interesting. But isn't that the same with like Tesla? Uh, Can you own, you can only go to like a Tesla. No, not anymore. That was originally, they had thing but now they have like partners and stuff Mm. that's what uh rich rebuilds and his place electrified garage they make it and apple does this too they make it more expensive Mm -hmm. they'll sell a third party shop or you the parts Mm -hmm. but they're going to sell it to you at a premium okay because they're doing what the law says Mm -hmm. which is that they have to provide you with the parts they're just making it more difficult they're they're making it cost more money Mm -hmm. so they're profiting off of you not using them. Gotcha. And they say it's for your protection. 
So protect. That's how they, that's how they try and advocate or how they try and defend themselves in court. It's for the consumer's protection. They're too stupid. Okay. Seriously. That's the legitimate justification that they use in court is that you are too dumb to repair your own phone. The math is not mathing all over my face right now. You're, you're too dumb BMW here. You're too dumb to be able to use your heated seats. So it needs to be a subscription Mm -hmm. so that we can repo. And now the robot is upstairs freaking out because it is permanently stuck on the dog toy. It finished and now it's error. Come save me. Did you? Oh, so there, there actually is a company, this, this whole repoing electronic Mm -hmm. rights thing. There's a company that, uh, has gone bankrupt Fisker. I think it was, um, where using the sunroof was a subscription service and all of those servers have been shut down. And so nobody can open their sunroof or close. close. (gasps) Oh my God. So do you you imagine being in a snowy area that's just permanently open? Do you actually, do you actually own the vehicle Mm -hmm. that you bought potentially paid cash for? Mm -hmm. If you can't even open or close your sunroof. That's crazy. Without a subscription. Oh, Willow's coming downstairs. Yeah. She wants you to save her toy. No. Hello, dog. Um, so yeah, so Redbox, I guess, is going bankrupt. But oh, so let me okay. go back here real yeah. quick, talking about Lewis Rossman. Yeah. So he made the video about how and he does this with a lot. Like anytime these companies like take away like your digital downloads and stuff that you legitimately paid for. Mm-hmm. Like, I think Sony did it recently okay. where like you could buy, you pay the full price. Like you were buying a DVD or mm-hmm. Blu-ray. Right. Mm-hmm. And then they're just like, we're closing that like app and okay. deleting all of your shit. It's like, well, this legitimizes piracy because. And that's what Redbox said. Yeah. They have closed their app or they're closing their app. Okay. And anything that people paid mm-hmm. to own. Right the digital version of have been repoed. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. With no right or authority or anything. They're just like, sorry, fuck you. Even though they literally own it. That's crazy. Yeah. And so he made, he made that video. And when I was searching for, um, in, in Google, I was searching to see like what else came up about it. Mm -hmm. It's everybody pirated his content (laughs) every reddit post there's all these like news outlets and everything that's the verbatim they copied his entire exact headline and that's the headline on their websites okay (laughs) no original thoughts here no but like they literally he's talking about he's talking about pirating and they're pirating his content about pirating Mm mm-hmm it's funny. It's perfect. Full circle. The, he, the he autism brain inside of you was very happy. Well, he doesn't care. I mean, he does care, but he also doesn't care. Okay. He hates everything. Sounds like you. I don't hate anything. I love everything. Except Communists. people who knock on Except back communists. doors. Yeah, and people that knock on the back door. <laughs> and communists. Or complain about bright screens. Yeah. Or live. I'll talk in the movie theater. That's okay. So I'm going to go to the, to all the, cause they, they did what? Three commercials about turning your phone off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to go to the movie studios and I'm going to say next make three ads about telling people to shut the fuck up. <laughs> if you want to talk, leave the theater. Nobody wants to hear you. Nobody cares. You think that you're like self-important. You think that people care about what you have to say in the theater. We don't. You're just fucking annoying and nobody likes you. Your family doesn't like you either. You don't have any friends. That's why you're there alone in the theater. Loser. Yeah. I would say 80% of the people who were watching Deadpool were there alone (coughs) with their comic books in hand. Were there any other kids in there? Yeah, there were. Yeah, like maybe... Five or six other. I don't kids. think there were any other girls, though. <laughs> just, just Chloe and Charlotte. They were yeah. the only two girls. Yeah. 
There were a couple really cute, like, elderly. They were, like, 80-plus years old, shuffling in and out, holding hands, really cute, going to see Deadpool together on their their date. Do you think they laughed, or do you think they were shocked? I think they were asleep. No. I think they no, you don't pay, you don't were pay, awake you don't pay when they arrived and woke up at the end. You don't pay thirteen fifty to sleep. Or do they? No. You know what I thought was uh, also kind of funny was that I thought the the uh, preview mm-hmm. about the cocaine, I thought that that was only ever going to be in the trailer. I didn't think it was going to make it in the movie, and they said all of it plus more in the movie <laughs> when he was talking about how it was off limits. We were talking to Al in the apartment at the birthday party. Mm-hmm. That was in the trailer or one of the trailers, okay. and I was like, I was like, oh, they're probably making the joke in the trailer because they can't do it in the movie, but it was in the movie. Okay, well that's what she's and known the pegging, for. And the pegging joke. That's what she's known for is her cocaine addiction. Yeah, but I'm saying, they end the pegging joke. I didn't think the pegging joke was going to make it in. Why wouldn't it? Because it is a. Disney movie? Well, Disney has been trying to be edgy. Mm, no. No. They've been pandering. They're part of the panderverse, as South Park would call it. Okay. We're saying the same thing. No. Pandering is when you try and make these woke stories that you think are going to appeal to a different demographic Mm -hmm. and then they bomb because instead of listening to the people who like the content you listen to this group of sounds like you're talking about the new star wars i haven't seen any of that shit i've never watched it don't care about it i just everybody's heard about it about how they made it very woke and i don't know it's completely bombed but they own that too great that's (laughs) why i thought that's what you were referring to no no what I'm referring to is these movies mm-hmm. where they're like, oh, we want to try and bring in a different demographic of people, so we're going to make the story all fucked up and stupid right. and listen to, uh, what's it called, when they bring in a bunch of people into a room and ask them uh, like how they feel about it and ask them questions and shit. Basically, it's movie by committee instead of just following the fucking story that people actually like. That's why... They Cap- had their comic books and they were... Captain that didn't happen in the comic book. Captain Marvel bombed. The Marvels bombed. The Eternals bombed. I didn't watch any of those. Ex- ex- you're proving my point. <laughs> but I also don't like Marvel movies. Sure, whatever. I don't believe you. You like Deadpool. I said I can tolerate. You like Spider-Man. Ew. Gross. No. no. You like Spider-Man. Absolutely the fuck not. Yes, you do. In in what world? You like Venom. I can I can get down with Venom. Marvel. He's attractive to look at. Marvel movies. It no. It I can more It's a it's a Marvel movie. I I don't like the heroic acts and blah blah blah. I'm so special. But I can get down with like the anti hero, the bad guy who's doing some goodish things. No. Yes. No. Yes. What about Loki? No, I didn't like that. Whatever. Loki's awesome. No, but Spider-Man? Ew, gross. No. He is so ill. No. Ugh. No. All of them. You've made me watch... I had I had seen the original ones. By original, I mean the little dude. The one who's like 85 pounds soaking wet. Uh, I'm blanking on his name. What? I'm blanking on his name. He's like tiny and he was in Seabiscuit. The original Spider-Man's. Tom Hall? Oh, you mean no. Tobey Maguire? Yeah, that guy. So I had seen those okay. before I even met you, obviously. I saw them a long time ago. Okay. I thought they were stupid. I thought they were terrible. Because you, they were. You, Nobody believes a 35-year-old is a high school student. <laughs> you made me watch... Um, the cartoon one. That would have been the kids. No, you made me watch the cartoon one. I wouldn't have watched it just with you and me. It was the kids. Right, but you made me watch it. I didn't want to watch it. I thought that was terrible. Sure you did. thought it was terrible. You made me watch one 
of the Tom Holland ones. Speaking I of thought speaking of the the that, car- that was terrible. Speaking of the cartoon one, um, Nicholas Cage is going to be playing a spider noir. Yeah, because he needs to make money. So he'll do literally anything. I don't think he's actually hurting as much anymore as he was. Wait, wait, wait. As much, because he's digging himself out of a hole. No, I think like whatever debts he had, I think those are taken care of. I think he's now just making movies to make movies. And to set himself up for not having a repeat of the past. Well. Cushioning the bank account. Plus, the cost of living now, today in 2024, is probably five times more than when he put himself in the hole back in, what, 2010? I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys know? I still like that movie that he made where he played himself with... uh, The one I fell asleep in? No, I don't know. With the the dude from Game of Thrones? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you put it on. I fell asleep within like two minutes and slept through the entire... the The dude from Game of Thrones is fucking hilarious. You know what I'm talking about, right? He was the... I was asleep, so I don't remember. Game, during Game of Thrones? No, the movie that you're talking about. The so the guy, the Nicolas Cage movie. Um, I can't think of his name now. Pedro Pascal. Yeah. He's killed by the mountain in Game of Thrones. Okay. Remember he was fighting him. He was like the spinny javelin guy, and he just crushed, he crushes his head. We saw it like three years ago. Whatever. So you made me watch a lot of things. No, I don't. And a lot of times I fall asleep. No. On that note, <laughs> go watch Deadpool. If you haven't already. Yeah. And if you have. Go watch it again. What was your favorite cameo? What was your favorite scene? Comment below. Subscribe or get subscribed. Get One subscribed. Of the two. AKA get fucked. Yeah. We're like 14 subscribers away from 1,000. Wow. Yeah. So that's it. So that's nothing all. special happens at 1,000. Nope. <laughs> Unless you read the comments. <sighs> Bye. Bye.